Hi guys, I am back today with a haul. I'm kind of anti-hauls because I just feel like they're very pro-consumerism, which I'm really not. I try and promote very thoughtful consumerism, conscious consumerism, through everything that I speak about. The typical haul really isn't my thing, but this is not just any haul. This is a beauty haul from a company that is selling not only fully vegan products, but also truly natural. You guys may have noticed that when I had first gone vegan, of course, I was always using cruelty-free products. That was never an issue, but I was never really conscious about like the beeswax. I was still using a lot of a lot of products that had like bee products in it, and I didn't even really think about it. Like I just didn't make the connection that that was making them not vegan. A few of you guys you know, commented about it and stuff, and I appreciate those comments. I would place my orders from a few of my other favorite green beauty sites, um, but I would always have to like really do research and make sure first in the ingredients that there were no animal products at all. It's really nice to just have a website that you don't have to worry about that. You know for sure that everything's vegan, and you know for sure that everything has clean ingredients in it. So that's why I love Pettivore because they just check all of the boxes of things that I look for. So full disclosure, the reason that I found out about Pettivore, well, I, I knew about them prior. I knew about them as a subscription box company, right? So they actually reached out to me to review the subscription box portion of it. And of course I said, I would love to, <laughs> but I didn't realize that they had such an extensive selection of products through their website like just to buy not only do they have you know full-size beauty stuff you can just make that your new kind of beauty destination it's really like a, a vegan and green beauty sephora um, but they also have like accessories and like cute little bags and it's really just a really great vegan resource to have and I really appreciate what they're doing. Their site is super like user friendly and their reviews are amazing. Such extensive reviews, a ton of reviews. I actually based a lot of my product choices off of the reviews. I find reviews to be so helpful. So I ended up purchasing a bunch of full size beauty products just because like I needed some things and need to stock up. So that's what I wanted to do the haul for today. And then at the end, I will show you just this month's beauty box in case any of you are interested to see what comes in a, in a typical beauty box. I will start out with like the new stuff that I hadn't tried before. Okay, so let's start with highlighters, shall we? Who doesn't like highlighters, huh? I got two, I'm not sure why, but <laughs> um, I got one from 100% Pure. This is their fruit pigmented uh, luminating cream or creme it's called. I don't know, there's an accent on the E. They had to go and make it fancy schmance. This is in the shade Starlight and it comes kind of like in a lip gloss type applicator. See if I swatch it. Hopefully this is in focus and you guys can see. Um, it really is a very subtle highlight. I don't know. To be honest, I'm not crazy. This is like one of the products that I, I wasn't crazy about. If you're looking for a super subtle highlight, I would go for this, but I don't know. It's just not really enough for me. I feel like my natural skin, like just from when it gets oily, kind of has the same like natural sheen that like this gives. So a highlight is supposed to be something that's like extra, extra. I'm actually glad that I also got this one because I'm obsessed with this one. And this one got really good reviews. That's why I ended up getting it. It is by this company. It's called Adorn Cosmetics. And that's another thing that I appreciate about Patty Bore. They are introducing me to some new product lines that I've never even heard of before. This is one of them. I've never heard of this Adorn Cosmetics. And this is their Mineral Illuminizer. You can use it on eyes, lips, and cheeks, it says. Super clean ingredients. It makes your highlight freaking poppin'. Can you guys see that? I may have gone a little overboard today, but I mean, come on, look at that highlight, right? <laughs> So if you are looking for like a pop-in highlight, definitely recommend this one. Okay, next thing is a bronzer. Now I was looking for a very cool toned bronzer. So uh, prior to this, I prior 
prior to this, I had tried the 100% pure bronzer, which was a little bit too warm and kind of reddish for me. So I actually use it now for like a crease color, which it works great for. But I really was on the hunt for a cool toned bronzer to do um, like nose contouring and, you know, con just regular contouring as well. I find that cool tones really help like chisel out the face. So I saw this one by this company called Han. Again, never had heard of this prior. They use organic ingredients, very, very clean. Nothing in here that I'm, you know, not into. The first ingredient is rice powder and then cacao seed powder and then argan oil and then acai, acai oil. <laughs> Can we just said acai? <laughs> Everything is great and I am really into this bronzer. If you're looking for a cool toned contour color, this is perfection. And if you have the same sort of coloring that I do, it's just like, definitely be a staple in my beauty routine for a long time. Okay, now this primer. I was pre previously using a 100% pure primer. I was using the, I forget what it's called, I'm sorry. I'll put it here. I spoke about it in my 2017 favorites. It was the one that smells like apples, I was saying. I love that one. I just kind of wanted to try this one just to see what the difference is. This is the mattifying primer. This one has a much more kind of like silky application. like. It feels really like silicone-y, which is awesome and I like, and that's how primers should feel. But the thing is that there's no silicones in here. Everything's organic, amazing ingredients. It doesn't have the same apple smell though, so <laughs> that's the only thing. It, it works really well. To be honest, I don't really need a mattifying primer because my skin is kind of dry, but it's not like this dries me out anymore. I could really kind of switch between the two 100% pure primers. I really like both of them. Okay, next thing I got was an eyeliner. So I previously was using the Alima Pure brown eye pencil and I just wanted a new brown eye pencil to try because I feel like the Alima Pure kind of left me with a little bit of fallout throughout the day. So I just wanted to try something new. This one is by Fior Minerals. Again, a new brand to me. And... Now that I've sharpened it, it works a lot better, but at first I wasn't too crazy about it. It's not super, super pigmented. I would say that the Alima Pure is definitely more pigmented than this one, but it's still a really good eyeliner, and I don't find that it's doing the like fallout thing how the Alima Pure did for me. So it's a little bit less pigmented, but no fallout. So, you know. Okay, now this is a cleanser. This is from Juice Beauty. This is their exfoliating cleanser. The reason why I got this is because I was previously using the Tata Harper. I think it's called a regenerating cleanser or something like that. It's also an exfoliating cleanser. Really good. I was crazy about that one, but it was like 78 bucks or something around there. And I saw this one, which I think I have used like years ago. I'm talking like four or five years ago. So I'm like, let me give this a shot again. You know, maybe this is like a good cheaper alternative. And it definitely is. So this is like 50 bucks cheaper. All organic ingredients in here, all vegan of course, and it works great. It's like a very similar, it's not as exfoliating, I would say there was more like exfoliation, no, they're not beads, but whatever is in there that gives you the exfoliation, I'd say there's more in the Tata Harper, but I still really like this one and I don't really notice like a difference in my skin or anything, it's not like I'm breaking out like if I'm using this one, you know? So yes, if you are after the Tata Harper, exfoliating cleansers and the price tag is just too steep and you're not into it, <laughs> try this one out because it's literally $50 cheaper and a really great dupe and still all organic, so. Okay, now this next thing. And by the way, I had gotten these things like, I don't know, when did I place this order? Let's see. It was right after the new year. So I've had this stuff for almost two months now. So this is not really like an initial haul. It's kind of like a haul plus a product review <laughs> because as you can see <laughs> this product is almost done i got this because erica from eco summer life she recommended this and i was looking for like a really great natural vegan hand cream which is surprisingly hard to find because a ton of them have beeswax and honey in them when she talked about this one from osea i was like scooping that scooping that asap <laughs> And as you can see, I've been loving it. This is the first thing I've ever tried from Osea, actually, and I know they are like such a well-talked about brand. 
Based on how crazy I am about this one, I'm definitely going to be trying some more of their products because they're very reasonably priced. The ingredients are awesome and they're all vegan. Yes, so this is the anti-aging hand cream from Osea and it gets a big thumbs up from me. Okay, now the other two things that I just needed a re-up on <laughs> were my Lily Lolo mascara and my Josh Rosebrook nutrient day cream. So I also picked up those two things as well just to restock. Oh, and one more little last thing. I got this sample of this perfume because you guys, I still have not found like my signature scent in a natural fragrance. Uh, do you guys have any recommendations? I like almost kind of masculine scents. Like I don't like floral. I like bergamot and citrus and well, I, I, I like everything that's in here actually. <laughs> this is from my daughter fragrances and this is the scent my wild i'll read you the notes that are in here violets pink pepper juniper berry sandalwood wild strawberry vanilla oh i don't know how to say that guaiac wood cedar atlas and vetiver vetiver is that how you say that <laughs> i really like the scent of this so this is free from phthalates parabens and colorants so this is a clean fragrance brand. This scent lasts. Like that's another issue that I run into with natural fragrances is that like, okay, I put it on and it smells good when I put it on, but then it's gone five minutes later, you know? This really, really lasts. I can say that for sure. You can order fragrance samples through Pettivore if you're interested in trying out the fragrance before you buy it, because obviously fragrance is a really hard thing to buy online. So definitely recommend getting the samples first. I really like this one. I'm honestly just trying to decide if it's like too strong for me. Like because I'm so sensitive to fragrance, even the natural one, like because this stays so long, I'm like, damn. And I might as well just show you the box that it comes in because how cute is that? Look what it says, creme de la cruelty free. They just always have like the cutest graphics and stuff like that. Petty Boar, I appreciate you. Okay, so that's it for my haul portion, everything that I purchased full size. Now for the subscription box, it comes in this cute little pink box. They always have a nice little card in here, which always has some cute artwork on it. Over the Christmas one, the first one that I got was like the cutest bunny that you've ever seen. So you already know that I was, I was a happy bunny. <laughs> and inside the card, it tells you all about the products how much the sample version is worth and then what the full size price is in case you want to buy it full size if you really like it. And that's really what it's for. It's just to try out products to introduce you to new vegan things so that you can just try out new beauty products. This was this month's box. I just got it a couple weeks ago, so it was the February box. The first thing, which I actually am wearing now, but I have it kind of mixed with my normal lip liner, so it might look a little bit different, but this is Red Apple Lipstick, the Dusty Rose Lip Liner. As you guys know, I really usually only go for like nude color, so I thought that maybe this one was... Oopsies. <laughs> I thought that this one was maybe going to be a little bit too pinky for my liking, but I actually really like it. So I'm into this Dusty Rose. This next thing is a Purifying Daily De Detox Scrub by Derma E. And it also has activated charcoal in there. So I have not tried this yet, but I am excited to do so. Um, next thing, which I do have on right now, I did try this for the first time this morning. This is the Elate Clean Cosmetics Cream Revealer, which is basically like a concealer. This is in the shade Fawn. There's not much to see, it's just a concealer. But I used this under my eyes today, and I really never use concealer under my eyes because I find that they just dry me out so much that they make my under eyes look so like, like not even like my skin, like my actual skin, my under eyes aren't dry, but then when I put on concealer, it always makes me look like I'm like so much older than I really am, you know? So I don't like to use concealer under my eyes. Of course, I got this as a sample, so I'm like, let me give it a whirl, you know? And it did not have that effect. Or it had 
the least amount of that effect of any other concealer that I've ever tried, that's for sure. This shade is perfect for me. This is the Fawn, so it's definitely like one shade lighter than my skin tone, which is what under eye concealer should be. I like it. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to purchase the full size of this, but like I said, today was just my first day using it, so I want to continue using it and see how I like it. I did notice it start creasing up right away, but once I set it with powder, it was fine. Okay, and then the last thing in the box is this little face balm. It's a Tamanu and Calendula Healing and Anti-Blemish Face Balm, which is a super hard find, hard thing to find vegan. So I really appreciate that this is vegan and made with organic ingredients and smells really good. Mm. It smells super fresh. Super fresh and botanical. So this is by Zabana Essentials. They make 100% natural and vegan cosmetics. Oh, and they're based out of San Diego. Cool. If you guys have been following me for a long time, you know that I used to live in San Diego. This says it combats acne, redness, scars, dermatitis, and reduces fine lines and wrinkles. A divine potent blend of skin calming essentials that also reduces pore buildup and provides balanced hydration. With continued use, you reveal a fresh, smooth, clear, hydrated, and rejuvenated complexion. I mean, that's what I need in my life because I have dry skin, but I also have acne prone skin. So it's a really hard combination to kind of like take care of. So I can't wait to use this. I haven't used this yet. I can't believe I haven't. This hopefully it will help clear my pores, but keep me hydrated at the same time and just like, renew my face <laughs> yeah so that's it for my petty vore haul you guys i hope that this is helpful and that you enjoyed it and definitely go check out petty vore they did not sponsor this video the only thing is that i i do get the monthly subscription boxes complimentary for reviews and stuff like that but the main haul i bought all that stuff with my own money just to be transparent let me know if you're a fan of petty vore if you end up placing an order how you like their stuff Almost everything that I use, that I usually get from other sites, I was able to find on Pettivore. So that was awesome. And I was very happy to find everything. They have a huge, huge selection. And like I said, the reviews are very helpful. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.